Presiding officer, uh, thank you very much indeed for that. Um, Alec Johnson uh, referred to bankers arriving at their place of work in Edinburgh uh, on, the, on the bus using their uh, concessionary card. Um, thank goodness I left banking to join politics to improve my reputation. It's, 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 uh, it's proved to be a wise move under the current circumstances, I think. I won't, of course, get a bonus to pay any tax on. Um, I'm very grateful to the Labour Party and to Charlie Gordon in particular for raising this issue. It's a timely debate. Scottish Government uh, officials are shortly to be meeting the Confederation uh, of Passenger Transport to discuss concessionary travel and a range of bus-related issues uh, that, that, that matter to, to this uh, scheme. And, uh, and, of course, looking at uh, the rate at which we reimburse, currently 73.6 pence in the pound, uh, looking at uh, uh, how we can maintain this scheme uh, uh, with the access uh, parameters that it currently has and which are so uh, widely uh, valued. Let me just turn to the remarks of uh, a number of members who have contributed to the debate, and I think no one who has sp spoken in the debate uh, failed to make uh, a point of some interest and engagement. Let me say at the outset that I think, uh, I think the motion is uh, drafted very badly. It's gratuitous in some of its language, but I don't want anyone to imagine that I'm going to be petty about that in terms of its wording because I wholeheartedly support the, the, the point that underlies the motion and it's on that basis that I'm recommending to my colleagues uh, that, that we support it. Similarly, I'll be recommending to my colleagues that we support uh, the Liberal Amendment. Now, in both cases, I do so on the basis that I'm not at this stage being asked to spend any more money, uh, that I'm asked to look at things, and of course, I wish uh, to do that. John Park rightly highlighted the achievements of Bert Goff on Fife Council in producing the first ever uh, concessionary scheme, and I very much uh, welcome the efforts that a previous generation of politicians, albeit of another political flavour, uh, made there. Uh, he uh, followed a similar track to that that Jimmy McGinley, the SNP uh, leader of West Lothian Council, took in 1980 uh, when the first Christmas bonuses were introduced. There is no monopoly of good ideas to any single party, and I very much welcome that. Uh, John Park uh, uh, suggested that uh, One Way Five should uh, look at the officer's proposal that's currently before them in relation to their uh, rail service scheme is to increase uh, fares from 50 pence uh, to a pound, and Ted Brocklebank suggested a return fare uh, of three pounds. Well, that's uh, quite interesting. Uh, I, I will merely note that the Liberals and the SNP in this debate have made no similar suggestions, and they are the ones actually in power. Interesting that the opposition in Fife Council should be taking the position it is. We'll see how that debate plays out. Cathy Jamieson, as many others did, pointed to uh, some very effective uh, activities uh, in her constituency, if I got the words right, the Coalfield Community Trust, uh, who, uh, Transport Trust, who provide transport, one of a wide range of uh, uh, such activities uh, right across Scotland. Uh, Alison McInnes uh, mentioned uh, one of the two uh, community bus services, my constituency, I of course must make up the deficit by highlighting the achievements of the Bampshire Partnership who support people in the north of my constituency uh, to, to a very good uh, extent. Uh, Cathy also, as others did, made reference to the existence of fraud in the system. I, I think we do acknowledge there has been some. Um, there have been, and I think I'm correct, and I will check afterwards, have uh, been four references to the Procurator Fiscal so far. There may well be others. I will, however, explain that many people think fraud's going on because they see a ticket issued for the whole journey. In many cases, that is simply the agreement that there is between uh, Transport Scotland and the bus company as to how things are done. So it isn't always an indicator that that's the case. However, as we complete the introduction of the machines which will read cards, we will move to a position of greater certainty, a position where fraud will be much more difficult, but also a position where, frankly, more data about what people are doing will be gathered, and that will enable the bus companies and government uh, to better fine-tune 
uh, the way in which uh, things will work in future. Ted Brockerbank made the point that Fife extends between, but beyond Levenmouth being brought up in Cooper. I acknowledge the veracity uh, of that statement. And indeed, I was, had a very happy event in Crail at the weekend at my best man's Ruby Wenny anniversary celebration. So I, I know from personal experience. He talked to Barnett Consequentials. I think at the moment we were of the view they are some 20 million. Welcome, but modest. If, uh, if so, uh, we shall see. Uh, Karen Gillan uh, uh, took the opportunity to uh, suggest that we don't uh, much uh, look south, as I think uh, uh, Helen Eady uh, similarly uh, did. I think it was Helen Eady. No, it was Karen Gillan in intervening on Bob Doris. Uh, let me just say to you, I'll copy good ideas wherever they come from. And uh, in relation to road safety, I've rejected uh, some proposals from my officials because I knew there was something going on in England. We've now joined a number of pieces of research that are happening south of the border. That's efficient. It's partnership working. And we now expect to see uh, the UK administration join an initiative that we've taken on that. So this is some of the non-glamorous stuff that you don't often hear about. Actually, officials and ministers uh, will take every opportunity to work extremely well uh, together. Um, let me uh, try and draw this uh, to conclusions by talking about bus stations. In Edinburgh, the situation is quite complex. Um, a number of bus companies have chosen not to use the bus station. I have raised it uh, with the City of Edinburgh Council, uh, and I will look at the Aberdeen uh, situation as well. Nigel Don uh, rightly uh, took us back to a previous debate on deaf-blind companions. Um, it is certainly a subject uh, that, that bears further looking at. He referred to, without naming it, the Club 55 uh, a promotion that Scott Trail have been doing since I think the beginning of September, which ends uh, at the end of this week. That is, of course, one funded by the rail companies themselves. It does suggest what the marginal rate of uh, carrying a passenger might be. There also is a further scheme, of course, operated by the Association of uh, Train Operating Companies, whereby those of us over 60 can purchase a card. I paid £60 for my card, which gets me a third off for three years. Um, I may say that personal expenditure benefits the public purse. When I make my ministerial rail journeys, you get the benefit of that £60 I spent on my, uh, uh, on my own initiative. But again, it shows that there is uh, some uh, inclination to do the right thing uh, in, uh, in, the, uh, in the rail companies. Grannies are safe on buses. I think grannies are probably safe on trains in Fife. Uh, let's see if it's, that happens. It's been a very a good debate. Um, the only people who've earned my sympathy during this debate are, of course, the lorry drivers of Bannerman's lorries. <laughs> <laughs> Presiding officer, uh, I continue to support the amendment in my name.